Hello guys and how are you today? My name is Madela and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you the new Maybelline Dream Urban Cover Foundation. We're gonna try some more Maybelline products and also we're gonna do a comparison with the It Cosmetic CC Cream because they both claim to be full coverage and they are both with SPF 50. But we're gonna see the similarities and the differences between them. We're gonna try them and we're gonna see which which one is better? Maybelline It Cosmetics. Maybelline It Cosmetics. Hmm. So if we put them side to side, you can see even the package is quite the same. This is $12.99 in United States. So it's a pretty good price and it has SPF. So, you know, it's two in one. And this one, it's $39. So it's a little bit up there. Not everybody can afford this, so uh, maybe let's see. Maybe this one, it's a dupe for the It Cosmetics. I'm not gonna talk too much about them right now. I'm just gonna start to apply and we're gonna talk about them as we are applying them. Another thing I want to mention just from the beginning because I think people are very interested about the SPF that's in them, which I'm very happy that people are more aware and they have more information about sun protection. It's uh, very important. The sun can cause a lot of damage to our skin and it can even cause skin cancer. The Maybelline, it says it's broad spectrum SPF 50 plus it has antioxidant in rich pollution protection. If you guys don't know the sunscreen can be chemical sunscreen and physical sunscreen. They are both good however the FDA are trying to do more research about the chemical sunscreen. The dermatologists say that the chemical sunscreen it can irritate a little bit the skin especially if you have acne prone skin. If we look at the sunscreen ingredients on the Maybelline one it says I hope I pronounce it well okay homocellate 10% octisellate 5% octocrylan 4%. This sunscreen, it's a chemical sunscreen. So if you have sensitive skin, which I pretty much do, but most likely for fragrance, you might want to try this first before buy it if possible uh, because uh, it can be a little bit tingling. Okay, about the IT Cosmetics CC Cream, um, the active ingredients for sunscreen are titanium dioxide 9% and zinc oxide 6.3%. So these are physical sunscreen. They give you a broad spectrum SPF. Uh, it's considered to be uh, protective because uh, these ingredients, they block the UV rays. When you're using these ingredients in a regular sunscreen, it might give a a white cast or even if you're doing pictures with the flash it might reflect and your face might look white because of that sunscreen so these are things like to be aware so this is chemical sunscreen this is physical sunscreen this can be better for a sensitive skin this one it can be better if you don't have sensitive skin or you don't mind chemical sunscreen or uh, you're on the budget. <laughs> Sorry, I'm already, I already talk a lot. And also we're gonna try some more products from Maybelline because I wanna most likely focus on that. Okay guys, let's go ahead and do this. <laughs> Before we go ahead and get started, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to get more videos like this. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comment down below. Also, if you wanna like this video, you can like it, why not? <laughs> All right, let's do it. Where should we start with? Let's start with the Maybelline, okay? And I'm gonna put it, you know what? I feel like my left side, it's kind of like, better looking <laughs> so I'm gonna put this also I actually have two because I purchased the shade classic ivory and it's too dark for me and then I purchased the the shade natural ivory which I didn't try yet it sounds watery it's enough Let me open it I like the package Ooh. Actually, it looks pretty thick. 
Uh, no, I don't think it's too light. Okay, so here we have the Maybelline foundation. After mention, I didn't use a primer before, so I'm trying to apply it with my fingers. It, it applies pretty smooth, but I don't really feel like it's a full coverage foundation. I really feel like it's medium coverage. <laughs> it feels very creamy. It feels moisturizing. Let me see how it's gonna dry on the skin. And also don't forget to go with your SPF on the under your eye and on your eyelid too, why not? Because the sun gets there too. And then I have this uh, beauty sponge, it's damp and I'm just gonna go over, take the excess of the product, if there is any. The thing with this, it, it doesn't give me the coverage that I want. I think it starts to melt in the skin. All right, there you have it. And now we're gonna go with It Cosmetics CC Cream. Okay. Well, that feels more creamy and thicker. Oh my god. It smells like lemon. I looked at the ingredients and it has a lot of like orange peel oil, lemon oil, which it's fragrance. And I hope my skin won't break out. Oh, I'm so nervous. The Maybelline one, actually, it doesn't really smell. So we're gonna put the It Cosmetics here. All right, that feels like better coverage. And the shade is warmer. Okay. Yeah, that feels like, wow. Definitely more coverage. It's more thick, more creamy. I'm, I'm gonna look a little bit funny today. <laughs> you guys, I don't think I can. you can see it, but it's a little bit hard to blend in the skin. It's like, even with my fingers, there is some strikes there. I don't have their brush, it's true, because they have like a brush they say to apply it to, but that brush is $48, so. All right, so this is more full coverage gonna go with, with the other side of the beauty sponge so about this one it took less product to apply it I still have a lot of my hand uh, I'm gonna apply it a little bit on the neck the it cosmetics it's definitely thicker more creamy I feel like it's kind of sitting on top of the skin all right guys I let this foundation sit for like 10 minutes so the difference right now, I didn't set it with powder yet. I think this looks um, more matte. This one looks less matte. This one, it's uh, medium coverage. This one, it's more like full coverage. The IT Cosmetics, it's more creamy, more dewy, uh, a little bit oily, I will say. But that fact, it's kind of like makes the skin, makes the texture look a little bit worse than this one. For concealer, I'm gonna use the, the Maybelline concealer. I really like this concealer from Maybelline. It's a, I like the application. It dries pretty good. It's not very dry. It's hydrating. And I have another shade of it. This is darker, so usually I put this on my pimple. Okay, let me show you this in natural light. Okay, so here we have natural light. This is the Maybelline in natural light. And this is the It Cosmetics. It's very humid outside. I live in New York and these days they were just like so humid. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and set it with some powder. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. Put some in here. This should be pretty matte. I'm gonna go with the brush and gently apply it. Oh, 
Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyeshadow and I'll be right with you. I just dropped my brush into my tea. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, I applied some bronzer, I applied the eyeshadow. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Master Precise All Day Eyeliner. This is the mini version of it. It's matte, it applies, it applies pretty fast. It's a tip pen, so it makes it easier. It looks very good, it looks matte, I like it. Okay, I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I'm gonna use the Total Temptation uh, Washable Mascara. I like the packaging, it's pretty light. Ooh, this is the brush. It separates the lashes very well. Mm, a little bit messy. Uh, honestly, it doesn't do much for me. Uh, I feel like I need to apply like three coats to really do something But it does give a natural look if you have already good lashes. I think it's a good mascara I think I like the idea of a washable mascara You know, maybe you don't have a makeup remover with you and you're somewhere and you have this on so it's kind of easier to uh, take it off uh, my eyes tends to be watery and I don't know how good this mascara will be for me uh, just because of that fact. Okay, I'm gonna apply a second coat. Okay, now we can start to see something. I don't have a blush from IT Cosmetics or Maybelline, so I'm gonna use a drugstore blush. This is the Flower uh, Pots Powder Blush in shade Peach Prime Rose. I'm gonna apply Pixie by Petra Blush, which for me it's more like a highlighter. Uh, I like it, it's very subtle. And we're coming to an end, and I'm, so I'm gonna put the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Okay. Ooh, I like this. So the thing with this, like they have a sharpener at the end, so once you apply this and it's not gonna be as sharp as it is, uh, you're just gonna, you know, sharpen it in here. And I think it's a very good idea. Now I'm gonna have red eyes and red lips. <laughs> This is the shade Laugh Louder 40. It smells nice, it smells like vanilla. I like the application. It feels hydrating. This shade, it's a warm red, it's like a coral red. I like this one so far. Okay, I'm gonna apply the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. I'm gonna apply a couple of uh, lashes from Ardell. They are the lash to use. All right, guys, this is f the final result. We're gonna get a little bit more in details with these two. Right now, I'm wearing the Maybelline foundation on this side and the CC cream from It Cosmetics right here. Uh, they both look very good. I will say the Maybelline dries a little bit more matte. Uh, this one dries a little bit, it's still a little bit creamy and uh, dewy. Maybelline, it's coming in uh, 16 shades. The It Cosmetics, it's coming in 12 shades. They both claim to be full coverage. However, I think the It Cosmetics, it's a little bit more coverage. The It Cosmetics, it's uh, cruelty free. Uh, the Maybelline, I'm not sure about it. I'm gonna put it right here if there is cruelty free or not. A skincare, the Maybelline claims to be enriched with antioxidants to protect against pollution. And the It Cosmetics, it claims to have a lot of uh, skin benefits like anti-aging skincare. Uh, it has niacin, hyaluronic acid, vitamins and hydrolyzed collagens so it has anti-aging benefits it's a foundation and it has spf too i repeat that this the maybelline has a chemical sunscreen and the it cosmetics has a physical sunscreen i will say for this uh also a chemical sunscreen it, it tends to not be very good for acne i have a ring lamp right now so this is the test if i turn it off this is how it looks in natural light. I don't have a lot of light right now, but 
I'm not sure how good it looks on the camera. Um, I think in natural light they look both very good. I'm gonna do a test. Uh, I'm gonna see how they wear and I'm gonna do an update at the end of the video. Oh hello guys, uh, we are four hours after I did my makeup. Right now it's uh, 6.40 um this is a little update so as you see i look a little little bit shiny i will say a little bit dewy i don't really mind to look like this uh, of course i can powder a little bit uh so far so good i think uh, i did get a little bit cakey here like right around the nose uh, the lipstick looks good so far. I had lunch and I had to touch up just a little bit right here But it's a kiss proof lipstick There is nothing coming out so far so good. So I'm gonna keep you updated at the end of the day right now it's uh, 10 18 so we are eight hours in i ran some errands it was very humid even rain <laughs> i think my makeup looks good in general uh it starts to break out of course uh it start like right here let me zoom in so around my nose here it start to get cakey uh, and on this side, I would say even more on the Eat Cosmetics one. You see this? It it, it starts to it's even more like around the nose. So on the forehead, of course, it's a little bit shiny. I didn't touch up at all. I didn't put one gram of powder. Overall, I think still the Eat Cosmetics part look a little bit more shiny, a little bit more oily. I think it accentuates a little bit the texture. The Maybelline one, it's a little bit more matte, just tiny bit. It's still shiny and dewy. It just looks a little bit, little, little bit better. I'm really surprised because I think I like the Maybelline better. So the positive and the negatives i like more than sunscreen in this because it's a physical one compared to the maybelline which is chemical but i think i have to wear this uh, maybelline foundation uh, for a couple of days to see if it breaks me out the price is better on the maybelline than it cosmetic i mean this is 12.99 this is 39 dollars the maybelline one there is there is a little bit of smell of sunscreen but beside that there's nothing like this one this one smells like like lemon you know if you don't mind fragrance and skincare and if you still want an anti-aging product you can get this one otherwise go with this go with maybelline you know it's that's good it's good so pretty much that's it guys i think the maybelline is kind of a winner i still like this one but like it's really up to you in the end you know <laughs> Thank you very much for watching if you like this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and most important subscribe and ring the notification bell to get more videos and uh, stay tuned i have a lot of exciting new products to show you in my next videos so hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when i post about them my name is madela and thank you for staying with me today see you next time bye